Hi friends, welcome back to RB English Academy. In this video, we are about to see a topic, the elements of drama. Before that, I have created a new playlist for literary elements. So kindly do support for my playlist. Let's get into the session. How is drama different from prose or poetry? How is drama different from television? Let's have an answer for these questions. Drama is one of the forms of literature. We also use the word play for drama. So there is a, another word for drama named play. It is a story with dialogues and action. So prose is nothing but it is the sum up of the entire story. But drama will be with dialogues and actions. It is meant to be performed in front of an audience by actors who took on the roles of characters. So the main purpose or the ultimate goal of drama is to perform in front of the audience. Its full qualities are revealed when it is performed on stage. It's a collaborative work. The dramatist works with director, producer, actors, dressmakers, musicians, electricians, scene painters and many others. Today we are watching movies. Before the invention of movies, we had drama. Drama comes from the Greek word dram. It means to do or to act. The doing or acting makes drama. Drama has one characteristic peculiar to itself. It is written primarily to be performed, not read. So drama is to be performed in front of the audience on the stage. Drama is a presentation of action through actors. Drama is a presentation of action on a stage. Drama is a presentation of action before an audience. In olden days, there are theatres like Globe, Rose and etc. where the play takes place. Nowadays, we have theatres there we used to watch movies. But in olden days, in theatres, they used to conduct plays. Let me see what are the elements of drama. First, playwright, the author of a play, the one who create the script, entire script for the particular play. For example, Shakespeare and actors, the people who perform. Types of drama. In olden days, there are two types of drama. First one is comedy and another one is tragedy. After the age of Shakespeare, they introduced tragic comedy. Comedy is a form of drama that has a happy ending. Humor comes from the dialogue and situations. So the first one is comedy. It is created only for the entertainment purpose. And the next one is tragedy. Tragedy is a form of drama in which events led to the downfall of the main character, often a person of great significance like a king or hero. Most to probably all the main characters will be dead. Bloodsheds will be there. And next we can see about three unities of drama. Unity of time, unity of place and unity of action. First let me see about unity of time. The action of the play should take place in a short internal chronology. Ideally no more than 24 hours. So in olden days, they were strictly followed the unity of time. Nowadays, we are using many techniques in movies or even in dramas like uh, flashback technique or foreshadowing technique. We used to travel to the past or we used to travel to the future. Likewise, we can change over the scenes nowadays. But in olden days, the entire play will take place in the particular time. The next one is unity of place. 
it was said that in drama there should be no change of place and even if the scene changes it must not be too great a distance so in olden days if the scene is happen in the palace the entire play will be happen in the palace in case if there is any changes means slightly they will change the place so they will not change any backgrounds or anything it will happen only in a single place but nowadays the first scene will be happen in the palace the second scene will happen in some other places but in olden days they did not follow these kind of techniques in later days only they started to use placards and other things to exhibit that this scene is going to happen in the palace or this scene is going to happen in the ground likewise they used to expose with placards and other materials and the third one is unity of action it is the unity of action which makes the plot intelligible coherent and individual the events and incidents are connected with each other logically so it is fully based on the script so the script must have some coherent with the scenes there should be some relevant ideas between the scenes the script the written pages of the play scripts are divided into acts and scenes for example every shakespeare play used to have five acts act 1 act 2 act 3 act 4 and act 5 and each acts must have some scenes scene 1 act 1 scene 1 act 1 scene 2 likewise they will segregate the scenes scripts for stage and screen have script but very different formats and the next one acts long sections of a play made up of multiple scenes usually designed to separate the play into its main parts and to give the audience a break from the performance Uh, in nowadays we used to watch movies right in movies the main plot will go and sometimes the comedy track will come in a separate track okay likewise it will give some break from the main things scenes shorter sections of a play usually each scene occurs in one location at a specific time multiple scenes make up an act so two or three scenes make an act okay each scenes will happen in a separate places and set construction on the stage that shows time or place everything will be displayed only through the stage construction okay if the if the scene is going to happen in the palace the entire background will be the set of palace okay if the scene is going to happen in the morning the scene, the settings will be like that if the scene is going to happen in the night the settings will be like that they used to construct the stage based on the situation and the next one is properties items used on stage by actors okay it is based on the scenes and to telecast what the scene is going to happen they used to show it in placard if the scene is going to happen in the palace they will show the placard this scene is going to happen in the palace or this scene is going to happen in the ground or park or anywhere so they used to have some properties to display where the scenes is going to happen and the next one is dramatic speech so in drama most probably each character must have some dialogues dialogue two or more people talking okay it is almost like a conversation if two people are converse it is called as a dialogue monologue in the sense only one person will be on the stage he will uh, speak with the audience or he, or he will speak alone likewise he will act and the third one is soliloquy one person speaking their thoughts out loud for the audience okay nowadays we used to tell it as a mind voice okay here soliloquy means the 
only one person will be on the stage sometimes other actors will be on the stage he used to think it in mind voice other actors will not hear the same but audience will hear the voice of the particular act that is soliloquy and the next one is conflict the internal or external struggle that creates dramatic tension external conflict character versus character when one character has a problem with another character in the story so nowadays we used to have hero and villain and the next one is character versus nature when the character is opposed by a natural force or if they are struggling with the nature means it is conflict between character versus nature and the next one is character versus society when the character has a problem with the society such as laws culture or social norms okay it is conflict between character and society and internal conflict character versus self when the character struggles with a decision or his or her own identity okay he used to struggle within himself or herself and characterization the playwright's technique for revealing the personality of a character okay for every character there will be some personality they may be like a hero or heroine or villain okay or friend supporting character minor character or major character likewise every character must have some personality and even they have some qualities like Uh, good or bad evil character likewise they will have some characters when the playwright tells the audience what the personality of a character is usually found in character description under cast of characters characters who change with the development of plot are known as round characters okay so there are two types of characters one is round characters and another one is flat characters okay round character in the beginning they may be like a hero but at the end of the play he will become as a villain likewise there will some changes in the character okay that is round character characters development who do not change of with the plot and remain the same throughout the story are known as flat characters so from the beginning till the end if they are with the same character that is flat character among the characters someone may be the most important such as such a character is called hero heroine or protagonist the protagonist is usually a usually in conflict with another character known as antagonist or the villain the hero or heroine is called as protagonist and the villain is called as antagonist the characters around whom the action of drama revolves are major characters apart from them many minor characters contribute to the development of the plot protagonist antagonist will play the major roles and some supporting characters will be in the story and the next one is theme theme is the idea on which a literary work is based in other words it is the subject of a play a play may have multiplicity of themes which means it may have more than one theme like friendship it is a friendship story or it is a love story or it is a science fiction okay science it is based on science okay likewise there will be some major idea behind the play that is theme and the next one is setting setting is where and when the story takes place so it is the place and time of the events of story so setting is nothing but scenes like morning or evening or night or it is happening in the war battlefield or it is happening in the palace okay that is setting apart from geographical and historical setting the social setting of a play is also important setting affects the behavior of a character and thereby the action of a play the setting is also plays a important role in play okay if the background is not suitable for the scene 
the entire play will be collapse and narrative a story with a beginning middle and end and plot the series of events that make up the story and next we can see about one act play one act play is like a short story okay almost uh, in the normal play we used to have minimum 3 acts and each act must have some two or three scenes but one act play is uh, just there will be only one act it imposes many restriction of the dramatist brevity is the soul of one act play so they will concise the content the plot of one act play is simple it generally conveys only one theme it is either a comedy or a tragedy and conveys single emotion the success of one act plays depends on simplicity of design and immediate impact it will be based on a single theme either it may be comedy or tragedy but it will convey any one of the theme there are some other plays like miracle plays miracle in the sense like uh, fantasy magic likewise morality morality in the sense it will have some moral okay it will give some advices to the audience or message to the audience likewise and historical plays so it is based on the history thank you guys thanks for watching keep supporting thank you